Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ibrahim Shah Balaji and I'm the founder of Bote Technologies. In this tutorial video today, I'm going to show you how you can perform reverse engineering on Android mobile application. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more awesome content like this. So in our tutorial video today, we are going to talk about uh, what reverse engineering is and the dangers are associated with reverse engineering and uh, how we can carry out reverse engineering on Android mobile app using uh, Kali Linux or using Parrot operating system and also we are going to be talking about the uh, ethical and uh, legal issues that are, um, you know, that are related to um, reverse engineering. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more awesome content like this. So right now, I'm going to go over to my uh, PowerPoint uh, presentation slide and um, my name is uh, Ibrahim Bolaji and here is my uh, startup company called Botech Technologies. Uh, our topic for today is going to be introduction to reverse engineering and we're also going to be um, you know looking at dangers of reverse engineering and the third uh, option or the third topic we're going to be treating today is um, how we can install apk2 in Parrot operating system or Kali linux and also we're going to see how we can perform um, reverse engineering using um, our, our operating system like uh, Kali linux or Parrot operating system and the last option is we are going to see how we can actually uh, modify or hack our android uh, apps so uh, today we are going to see uh, what reverse engineering is so reverse engineering uh, is the process of analyzing uh, a technology or a product or a system to be able to um, you know identify or to be able to understand uh, its design its ar architecture and also its uh, functionality so in the context of uh, software engineering reverse engineering uh, an android mobile application Often, uh, often involves um, disconstructing um, the mobile application to be able to um, uncover its source code, the algorithm, and other internal uh, components. So, when talking about the uh, source code, the source code is, uh, you know, primarily uh, what uh, makes up the uh, Android mobile application, and this involves uh, different components such as uh, the Java class, the XMLs, uh, and also the layout uh, files, and also we have our drawables. These drawables, uh, you know, include the icons. It uh, include the uh, illustrations we use in our Android uh, mobile application. So um, next, we are going to see uh, the reason why uh, reverse engineering is often uh, carried out by penetration testers or by security uh, personnel or by uh, hackers. So reverse engineering can be done uh, for you know for various reasons, and um, one of the reasons is to identify uh, vulnerabilities or even create a modified uh, version of the Android uh, mobile application. So um, next, we're going to be seeing uh, some of the dangers that are associated with uh, reverse engineering. Reverse engineering, uh, you know, often uh, have some uh, drawbacks, uh, uh, you know, that are associated with it. And one of it is the uh, legal issues. Reverse engineering may uh, infringe on intellectual uh, property or violate end user license uh, agreement. And also, we are going to be seeing, uh, we are going to be looking at uh, other uh, risks that are associated with uh, reverse engineering. And uh, this is the security risk. So uh, when performing reverse engineering or when uh, reverse engineering is performed uh, on a software or on an uh, application, it often, uh, you know, uh, make the uh, device in which the application is installed on prone to uh, different types of uh, attacks. And also uh, the third one we are going to be looking at is the ethical con um, concerns. Reverse engineering may often, uh, you know, raise ethical concerns uh, or, uh, on the privacy related to privacy and ownership of uh, intellectual uh, property. So um, next, we are going to see how we can perform um, reverse engineering on our Android uh, mobile application. So in order for us to carry out our reverse engineering on our Android mobile application, we need to install a tool called APK2. So this APK2 is um, you know available on GitHub and uh, you can carry it out uh, you know using different uh, operating system such as Kali Linux or Parrot operating system so for my case I'm going to be using the Parrot operating system which I already have uh, installed on my uh, virtual machine workstation pro so I'm going to um, power on my uh, Parrot operating system and uh, this is going to take a while for it to load and when it's loads I'm going to open my terminal so by opening my terminal, I have to change to uh, super user, or I have to change to um, root user to be able to, um, you know, carry out some functionalities in the uh, APK2 uh, library. So I'm going to start by, uh, you know, launching my terminal by uh, clicking on the uh, terminal or by pressing Control Alt Tab on my keyboard. 
to uh, open the terminal once the terminal has been uh, loaded up i'm going to um, you know go into my terminal and type sudo apt get install uh, apk2 so by running this uh, command it is going to um, go on GitHub and download all the repository of the apk2 so by having the apk2 installed on my uh, windows uh, on my parrot operating system i can uh, carry out some uh, operations or i can perform reverse engineering on my android mobile application so next on our um, on our uh, you know on our power, uh, powerpoint presentation we have some essential tools we need to uh, have installed uh, in order to perform our reverse engineering and one of it is the um, you know java sdk so you can go to um, oracle and download uh, jdk so you can go into your uh, browser and type in jdk and press enter so um, you can go to the official uh, website of oracle and click uh, on uh, the latest version so uh, the jdk is available on different platform it's available on the linux it's available on the mac os and also it's available on the windows operating system uh right now i'm running uh windows on my machine i'm, I'm going to click on the uh, windows tab and i have the 64-bit um, installer uh, executable file so if you don't have um, the, J uh, the jdk22 installed on your machine you can download it uh, using this uh, link so i'm going to be providing the link in my in the description below so that you can uh, you know download the 64-bit uh, installer so my parrot operating system is uh, fully launched and i'm going to uh, you know log in into my uh, into my account so the next thing i'm going to do now is uh, i'm going to go back into our powerpoint uh, presentation and uh, the step two is uh, we need to obtain our apk file so the apk file is already uh, on my uh, parrot operating system so i'm not going to be downloading any uh, other versions of it so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, open my terminal and i'm going to install the apk2 so for me to install the apk2 i have to run the sudo apt get install apk2 so i'm going to press enter on my keyboard and i'm going to press the password of my um of my parrot operating system so i'm going to type in uh y to continue or y for yes and this is going to download all the tools that i need for my um reverse engineering operation so um the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to locate where the uh apk file of the apk file i'm trying to reverse engineer is located so i'm going to go into boltec uh i'm going to go into my directory and i have the uh, apk file downloaded already so this is the apk file i'm going to uh, copy the apk file and paste it on the desktop so i'm going to minimize this and right click and paste the uh, apk file here so i'm going to wait for this uh, to finish downloading okay it's uh, already done so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to run the apk2 uh, help command so that we can see other command lines we can use it our uh, apk2 so i'm going to run apk2 tap tap help and i'm going to press enter so these are some of the other uh you know uh, commands we can use with our apk2 so in order for us to um to uh, decode our apk file we need to call the apk2 then followed by the uh decode uh, letter d then followed by our file name so the file name or, or the mobile application I want to decode is called uh, kesusta.apk so i'm going to press enter and uh, i have an error here kesusta.app was not found so i made a mistake it was supposed to be uh, kesusta.apk so i'm going to run another command and this is going to be called um, apk2 uh, decode then kesusta.apk so when i run this was not readable so i have to check if apk2 is already installed on my uh, machine i'm going to type in the okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i have to move into my uh directory i'm so sorry about that so i'm going to um you know use this change directory then the name of the directory i want to go to is called desktop and i'm going to press enter so i'm in the desktop directory so for me to check if uh, i have the apk file in this desktop directory i'm going to be using the ls command and um, right here i can see i have two uh file i have two files i have the uh, start.apk and i have another folder called 
so she has scan so what i'm going to be doing next is i'm going to call the apk2 then followed by the command uh, decode then followed by uh, the file name which is called kesostar.apk and i'm going to press enter so this is going to create an additional uh, directory called kesostar where it will save all the uh, resources the xml and the uh, java class of this uh, apk file so this is going to decode the file resources and also build up the manifest uh, packages and also it's going to um, you know uh, list out all the classes that i use in um, creating my mobile application so uh, once this is done uh, we can modify uh, the content of this folder to our desired uh, you know to our desired taste and this uh, allows us to kind of like uh, you know have uh, privileges to edit or to uh, modify any file in uh, this particular uh, application so the next thing i'm going to do is uh i'm going to uh, double click on the case uh, folder and right here we can see that uh, it has already created some uh, folders and files for us so in this rest folder the rest folder basically contains the xml layout it contains the java classes and it contains the drawable so if i need to modify any uh, file or any uh, images i can simply go into my rust folder and click on any of this drawable so when you um, download the mobile application in the uh, using the link in the description you are going to see uh, this image on the uh, dashboard which was my uh, you know which was the illustration i use in my mobile application so if you need to uh, you know use your own mobile uh, use your own um, use your own picture you can easily rename you can easily delete this and uh, you know replace this group 5 with your own uh, image and try to build up your uh, mobile application when this is done so next i'm going to go into my uh, my powerpoint uh, presentation and we're going to see this step 3 so uh, after we've uh, you know decode our, uh, our apk file we might need to uh, rebuild the apk file so in order for us to read the apk file we need to run uh, the command line call apk then followed by b then followed by the file name we need to uh, build so the next uh, step is how we can extract and analyze our small uh, code so after we've uh, you know decompile our apk file we are going to see some um, directories in our apk file and these directories contain uh, several files which we can uh, you know modify uh, either by deleting or by replacing them with uh, under images so next we are going to see is uh, inspect resources and assets and uh, we are also going to see how we can emulate uh, the application after we've performed uh, our reverse engineering on it so um, <clears throat> right now we have uh, different folders and these drawable folders basically contains all the images such as illustrations and um, you know uh, uh, all images that are used in building the uh, mobile application and also we have the font if you um, don't like the font i use in my mobile application you can easily come to the xml file here and uh, you know delete it or modify it to your own taste so after the old modification uh, has been done you can build up your uh, android uh, mobile application so for us to build up back our android mobile application i'm going to run the apk2 followed by the uh, b uh, key then followed by uh, the name of our file so uh, now uh, after we've modified all the files or we modified some files in the case uh, folder we might need to uh, compile the files in the case uh, app so in order for us to do that we are going to uh, you know type in the name of the folder instead of the name of the uh, apk file itself and i'm going to press enter so when i press enter it's going to um, uh, generate a new apk file for me so um, in the next uh, slide, we are going to see um, some of the legal and ethical um, consideration when uh, re performing reverse engineering on Android mobile application. So throughout the entire process, you have to be mindful of the legal and ethical uh, consideration on any intellectual property right or violation of any legal uh, restrictions. So because I'm performing the reverse engineering on my own, uh, you know, on my own mobile application, I really do not have anything to uh, worry about. So if you're performing reverse engineering on uh, you know someone else's uh, Android application or on someone else's uh, software, 
you might uh, need explicit uh, authorization from the owner of the application or follow uh, any applicable uh, laws and regulation regarding reverse engineering and intellectual uh, property if you enjoyed this video please do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more awesome content like this so this is um, going to be the end of my video if you really enjoyed the video please do not forget to uh, share like and comment on my uh, on my youtube channel see you in the next tutorial video thank you